Welcome to Aja Teller, the show that transitions you from think to change. And today we have brought back Mr. Drake Masinde. He's a communication specialist, a writer, and a mentor. Thank you so much for coming again. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And today we are speaking about choosing your army. We started the discussion in the last episode, and today we are speaking about the benefits of having a personal army. So I'll just throw out the question to you. What is the importance or what is the benefit of having a personal army? There are many benefits to that, and I think I want to, uh, I want to begin by quoting uh, a scripture where in the book of Genesis chapter 1, God said it's not good for a man to be alone. And by that I mean uh, it's not good for someone to be alone. So that, in essence, talks about or shows the importance of having a personal army. And so one of, why, why have a personal army? Number one, you have someone who can go to battle with you. The Bible, I want to allude to that again, the Bible says that two can chase a thousand. One can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. True. That means that there are more benefits in being with someone else than in being uh, alone. Uh, then the second thing is you get people to encourage you. I want to go back to the book of Job when Job was going through a very difficult period in his life. He had men who could sit with him and encourage him though they were not encouraging him in the way that we expected them to, but it was of great benefit to Job, having this man there with him. You have people who can, you can bounce ideas off. And I want to see, look at uh, a marital union, for example. If a husband and a wife come together and the husband has an idea or is a leader somewhere, you can be able to, you, you can be able to sit down with your wife and exchange ideas. And I think those are just a few of the benefits of having a personal army. Thank you. And you know, you've said so many good things and maybe we can begin to unpack some of them. You know, one of the things that you have mentioned and quoted the Bible is that it is not good for a man to be alone. And we know that we're not speaking about gender alone. Mm -hmm. So why is it um, important? Because we spoke about um, how to choose your personal army in the last episode, please go and watch it. But now when it, has, when it comes to a situation that someone has an army, you have friends beside you, and when someone doesn't, what makes the difference in facing life situations? The difference is basically, I want to go back to the Bible again. In the book of Genesis, there are a group of people who came together speaking the same language, and they decided to build a tower yes. that could reach heaven. Yes. And that particular situation was so profound that God had to come down from heaven wow. personally to come and see what is this that is going on. Yeah. And do you know what God said? God says, God said, the unity that these people have, yeah. they can accomplish anything. anything. It's true. And I know where there is unity, God commands a blessing. Absolutely. So one of the biggest things, or the biggest things I want to, I want to, I want to allude to today in this particular session is that anytime people come together, there is a blessing connected to it. Wow. And that's why God said it's not good to be alone. Mm -hmm. If we look at even the Godhead, it's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God mm -hmm. is not alone. Yeah. Oh, so wow. if it's good for God, yeah. it's good for me. Yeah. And so that's why I believe it's not good for a man to be alone. I mean, it's, it's, there, are may, there are more benefits to being with someone else than in being alone. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I want to use a quote that I had, I read in a book somewhere. And it says that you can, when you're alone, you can run really fast. Mm -hmm. You're very quick when you're alone. Mm -hmm. You'll get there faster. But if you want to go on longer, wow. You have to go with someone. Yeah. You, you can do a marathon yeah. with someone else, but you can do a sprint yeah. when you're alone. alone. Yes. Wow, and you know, you've said, you've said that, and it's very, very important, because it leads on to a different issue of trust. Uh, let's say someone is watching us at home, and they have 
tried to choose an army, but they are not really an open person. You know, we have many people who are dealing with trust issues. In the last episode, we talked about loyalty. Maybe they chose an army and that army was not loyal. And now they're feeling lonely and they're fighting the battles by themselves. And even when people try and approach them, you know, they are cordoned off, they are reserved. So what do we tell that person who has trust issues? Why is it important for that person to have an army? If you have trust issues, first of all, that is, an, that is a problem that you have first to be aware of. I have trust issues. Second, with the trust issues, try as much as possible to, after you've acknowledged them, uh, deal with it. When I say deal with it, I can look like I'm being insensitive to people with trust issues, but if you don't deal with it, it's, you, there, there are more benefits to dealing with it than mm -hmm. not dealing with wow. it. Wow. Deal with your insecurities. Trust issues bring a high level of insecurity. Be secure in yourself, then you will be secure in people. Wow. Whatever you give off is whatever you will receive. Wow. If you give off insecurity, it will resonate in the relationships you involve yourself in. And Absolutely. so I believe it's very, very important that uh, as an individual, you're secure in yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're secure in yourself, you will be able to overcome trust issues. Wow. And you will not give off that vibe. Mm -hmm. Let me use a term that is common now. <laughs> a vibe that you're insecure. Yeah. And you, when, 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 when you give off a vibe that you're secure, you will naturally, people who are secure will oscillate or come together or come to be with you. Wow. Yes. And you know, that leads to... I know you said deal with it and it sounds like a very strong statement, yes. but if we begin to unpack that, what it means is that if you have an issue choosing an army, you need to find out why. Yes. Why is it that I don't interact well with people? Yeah. Why is it that when I'm around people, I want to you know, withdraw? Is it a mental issue? Is it a personal issue? Is it a personality issue? Because we have some personalities who are more reserved than others. Is it that someone has offended you before and you just haven't forgiven? You know, and when you find out the reason that you're not choosing the army, that will enable you to choose an army because we are saying that it is very important for anybody who's watching us to have an army because when the, no one knows the day of battle. And we said in the previous episode that the day of battle is not the day to choose a soldier. So if you don't have an army, then you would struggle alone. And so even as we begin to think about some of the benefits of choosing an army that we have spoken about. What about the person who has chosen the wrong army? Choosing the wrong army is one of the tragedies of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who unto you in the day of battle, yeah. you will know that you're alone. Yeah. And you will have to fight this battle alone. But if you have chosen the wrong army, it's never too late to choose wow. the right one. It's never too late. And I know I told, I, I talked about deal with it. Mm -hmm. when, I, when, when, when I say deal with it, I, I, I mean face up to yourself. And that's one of the importance of having a time of reflection. Mm -hmm. I remember in one of the episodes before I mentioned that you need time alone, time mm -hmm. to just sit down yes. and unpack yeah. whatever is going on in your life mm -hmm. and analyze and assess. If you have frequent times of reflection, mm -hmm. of meditation, especially meditation in the right context and word, I think you can easily be able to uh, find a way of getting the right wow. friends. You know, and that's so true because maybe there's someone who's watching us and they chose a wrong army. There were people who were with them and they knew this person is for me, this is my ride or die, this person will be there for me and the day of battle came mm -hmm. and they fled. So it's possible to regroup, that's what you're saying? Yes. It's possible to regroup and yes. pick another army? Yes, it is. Okay. It's not cast in stone. You, can, you choose your friends. Mm -hmm. where, what you cannot choose is where you are born. Wow. <laughs> but you can choose your friends. Yes. So I think with your friends, you can choose them based on the situation and circumstance you find yourself in. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you can have situational friends, which I don't think is very good. You can have lifelong friends, you can have mm -hmm. loyal friends, but choose your friends wisely. And that's basically what I'm talking about. Yeah, thank you. And even as we begin to conclude, one of the things that I really take away from our discussions, and we have had three very interesting discussions with Mr. Drake, you know, if we begin to just wind up this entire topic of choosing your army and the battle within, one of the things that I really take away is that at the end of the day, no one knows the day of the battle. If you are not prepared for the battle, you will be overwhelmed. But your army is very important, that the, the kind of army that you have. You know, we talked about in one of the first episodes of Ajatella that every country has such a strict uh, criteria for how their soldiers are selected. But we don't do the same thing for our friends. You know, Which we just... It's very important. Yes. You can't... The same standards you have for... A country has for recruiting its military mm -hmm. is the same standards you should have when you when you're getting friends. Wow. And I believe they should be stringent. Wow. I believe that it should be not be easy to become your friend. Okay. And so because of that, use the same criteria and apply it to your life as a person. And I think that would make it really easy to have friends who will stand with you in the time of battle. Wow. Thank you so much. And maybe as we conclude, what is your parting shot? My parting shot is uh, choose wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Choose your friends based on a set of values that you believe in. And choose friends who will be, who will fight to the death with you. Wow. Thank you. I have learned so much on the battle within and choosing your army. I truly hope that you will choose the army that will fight with you in your day of battle. Thank you so much for watching Aja Teller from Think to Change.